It is a whale of a tail, and it's a mystery that has marine biologists in disbelief. A gray whale that experts say should be swimming past Vancouver Island right now on its way to Alaska has shown up instead two oceans away from home. The whale has shown up in the Mediterranean off the coast of Israel, and it has researchers here on the island scratching their heads wondering how and why the animal got there. A News Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has the story. So here's a picture of the animal from its right side. When John Ford first saw these photos of a gray whale in the Mediterranean, he was skeptical. We thought it must be a hoax because it would be so bizarre. Bizarre, but true. The 12-meter gray whale was spotted this week off the coast of Jaffa, Israel. Gray whales are believed to be extinct in the Atlantic. It could only have come from our waters in the North Pacific. How the whale got here is a mystery. There's never been a record of, of a, a gray whale, to my knowledge, even in the South Pacific, for example, let alone having clearly gone through the Atlantic and into the Mediterranean. There are a few routes the whale could have taken, but the most likely is through the Northwest Passage, a possibility now that, thanks to climate change, the passage is mostly ice-free in the summer. I think it would just simply be an indication that uh, conditions last year must have been light enough in terms of ice coverage that the whale managed to find its way through, if that's the way it went. It's not the first whale that's gone astray. In fact, in the last month, seemingly lost gray whales have been getting a lot of news coverage. Last week, there were several sightings of a gray whale off Britannia Beach and False Creek in Vancouver. And last month, a dead gray whale washed ashore in Souk during a storm. Ford says often when whales go astray, it's due to feeding conditions the summer before in the Bering Sea. This whale, if it did come from the, um, from the northeast Pacific population, for, from the population that goes up and down our coast, it, it likely left this area last year. So I don't think that there would be any connection, but um, it, it is certainly far more wayward than the ones we've been seeing locally here. The Israel whale does not appear to be sick or starving. Over the next few weeks, Ford and his colleagues around the world will be poring over catalogs and databases to see if they can find a match, where it came from, and why it's wandered so far from home. In Nanaimo, Jonathan Bartlett, A News.